Aaron, could you bring in the fish? I want to show you something. I heard this story today. And I just, uh, I think, uh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Okay, so here's a, um, we have the number down at the bottom of the screen. Put the number down at the bottom of the screen, if you will. Um, that is the number to uh, the house. I want, you to, I want you to call the switchboard. I want you to say, what the hell are you doing to our soldiers? What are you doing? And what are you doing spending a possible another $108 billion of our tax money to the IMF? To the IMF. Are we Americans anymore? Are we Americans or are we all world citizens? This is insanity. Let me, um, reason why I brought this fish out is I just wanted to show you that, um, I, I wanted to do a little, uh, this is kind of like uh, Glenn's biology. Um, I mean, what are we using for gloves here? This is uh, kind of like a bad biology class. Um, it's a good salmon. I'm from the Pacific Northwest originally, so I know good salmon. <clears throat> and this is nothing like good salmon. But I want to just show you fish and politicians have an awful lot in common. You will see they each have a head, a place with a very small brain right here. They have very large mouths. Hello, I'd like to give $108 billion to the IMF. See, you don't know. They have two eyes that don't work very well. They can only see left or right. Got it? Now, here's the interesting thing. Fish, if you... <coughs> Whoa, this is really yummy. Fish are different from politicians in one way. They'll have a rib cage right here. See, here are the bones. You always have to be careful. There's a rib cage right here. But what's different, because we have rib cages, what's different is this in the center of the fish is what is called a spine. A spine. It runs generally down the fish's back or our back right here. It keeps us erect. It also helps us make tough decisions. Sometimes when it's really tough, we're like, I don't know. Maybe I should have a little spine. So may I just say, call your politicians and ask them if they have seen anything at all like this. I'm just saying. You think our housing troubles are over? Uh-uh. A chart that will change your mind and blow your mind coming up next.